Okay, let's look at an example. We have a rigid body, okay, a link, okay, this, that's moving along two slots. Right? This end, which is point A, is moving along a vertical slot. The other end, point B, is along this second slot right here, which is at a 15 degree angle. Okay? Now, at this position, this rigid body it makes a 30 degree angle with uh, the vertical slot. Velocity of A is given at this instant. Okay? It's 225 millimeters per second. The length of the rigid body is given, 500 millimeters. You are asked to find the angular velocity of the rigid body at this instant, as well as velocity of B at this instant. Okay? Now, this rigid body right here, I can imagine, right? So, uh, it, it kind of has this kind of motion, right? So, because this end, point A, needs to follow the vertical slot, okay? And this is constrained to this slot. So, right, it kind of has to go like that, okay? So, this rigid body AB has a general rigid body motion, okay? So, because it's translating, and rotating at the same time. Okay? So, let's continue with the analysis of procedure. So, I'm going to draw this rigid body okay, three times. Actually, rigid body motion equals translation plus pure rotation. Okay? So, that's my A and B, A and B. And B. Okay? Just do it three times. Now, next, we draw velocity. So, the A is going straight down, that's given. The okay. B, you don't know, it's the unknown, but you do know the direction, okay? Which is going down this way. So, that's my VB. And you do know that it makes a 15 degree angle. Okay, now, this is the pure rotation part. Yeah. As I mentioned before, pure rotation, we usually take the velocity that is known okay, for the translation part. So, I'm going to use the A, which is given okay, for the translation. So, so, this whole rigid body, as this, it is translating linearly at V A, okay, going straight down, okay? Plus the effect of rotation, pure rotation. Now, since we've taken this V A, which is a point A, okay, for the translational part, so point A now will be fixed. In space, for the pure rotation, now for the pure rotation, since this is kind of going this way, okay? So, it's rotating but counterclockwise, okay? So, the velocity of B okay, about point A, or relative to point A, would be going up this way, okay? And then, the rotation, so omega AB. So, this vector is velocity of V relative to A. Okay, so next we write down the equation. Okay, the equation for point B. So, the B vector equals the A vector plus the B relative to A vector. Okay, and then just keep going. This is a vector equation. Like I said, there are two ways you can solve with this. Either you look at it um, by uh, using the components, okay, the split into I and J components, right, in known directions, or you can use graphical methods. Uh, I'm going to use that right now. So I'm going to draw VB equals draw it up here, VB equals VA coming straight down. 
plus V P slash A. Okay? Now next, figure out the angles. Now V B right here, okay, pointing this way. So um, actually no. V B actually is going this way, okay? Along this slot right here. So I should actually draw it a bit shallower. Okay. You know this angle, which is 15 degree angle, which means that this angle is 25. Right? And then for this vector right here, B slash A, And again, you know that this, okay, since this makes a 30 degree angle, so B, C slash A, which is right here, so this is the same as that angle, which is 30 degrees. So that is 30 degrees, which means this is 60 degrees. Okay? That's called this alpha. And you do know alpha, right? So alpha is 180 minus. 25 minus 60. So that gives you 45 degrees. Alright? So next apply sign rule. So I have EA over sine alpha equals CB sine 60 degrees equals BB slash A divided by sine. 25 degrees. Okay. Since A is known, okay, I know this, and I'm interested in this guy right here, B slash A. So I'm going to use these two. So B, B slash A equals B A times sine 25 divided by sine alpha, which is 45. Okay. Now you plug in numbers. It gives you 307. Point three six meter per second. Okay, now that you solve for B slash A and the velocity of B relative to A okay, equals that guy. Now you get this use then the definition of the, uh, the velocity. Okay. So for this right here, for this picture, since this is pure rotation, so the equation that relates the linear and angular x, um, velocity, pure rotation is this. V, V slash A, equals omega cross R. Okay, omega of AB. Okay. And R of A, R of B relative to A. Okay, since we're looking at V of B slash A. So, since this is a pure rotation, right? So, this cross product okay, actually you know, can be simplified a whole lot. So, this becomes uh, the magnitude of B slash A equals simply the magnitude of omega AB times and I call this L length so this becomes L simple as that so omega AB can be solved for BB slash A divided by L BB slash A is this right here 307.36 divided by 500 so that gives you 0.615 radian per second. Okay. So you, you saw for this omega right here and for VB you just go back to the, uh, the sine rule. So VB okay, 
plug it in. So it will be A uh, sine A times sine 60 degrees equals 276 sine. That's all.